All right, so continuing on, um, we are going to start moving into some examples where this time we know what the angle is and maybe we're looking for an additional side value. So example number five, let's say you are given this picture here. Um, and then I'm going to tell you for this one that this is 7. Um, this we will call side X. And I'm going to tell you that this angle right here is 21 degrees. All right, so what we're doing is writing the trig function that we can see in this triangle. So a few things about what's going on here is... If we can figure out what this side is that's labeled X, then we can use Pythagorean theorem to figure out that side over there. And since I know this angle right here is 90 degrees, I know that these two angles add up to 90 degrees. I know the whole triangle adds up to 180 degrees. So if this one is 21, I can just subtract and work backwards to figure out the measurement of this angle right here. So that's basically what trig is gonna do for us, is it's gonna allow us to figure out two sides at least, so that we can use Pythagorean theorem, and then an angle so that we can subtract from 180, or in this case 90, since it's a right triangle. So looking at this information, what we wanna notice is that we are going from the perspective of this angle, which is a 21 degree angle. And the information that we know about this triangle is the hypotenuse and the adjacent. So the trig function that uses the hypotenuse and the adjacent side is the cosine. So the cosine of the angle is gonna be the adjacent over the hypotenuse. All right, so now I'm gonna fill in what I know. So this time I know the angle is 21 degrees. The adjacent side is the X and the hypotenuse is the seven. So this trig function goes along with this triangle. All right, let's try another one. So for example number six, example six. So again, I'm gonna give you this sketch right here of a right triangle. So remember, we're only doing right triangle trigonometry. So I'm gonna tell you this side is 12. I'm gonna call this side X. And then this angle right here, I'm gonna say is 52 degrees. So what we're gonna do is write the trig function that's represented in this triangle right here. So again, if this is 52 degrees, I know I can subtract to figure out the angle measurement right here. And if I can find out the length of this side, then I can use Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the hypotenuse. So in this triangle, I don't know the hypotenuse. So what I know is from this angle, I know the opposite side is 12, and I wanna figure out the adjacent side. So we need to think about what trig function relates the opposite side and the adjacent side, and that's the tangent. So the tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. So for this triangle, we would say that the tangent of 52 degrees is 12 over x. And so that is the trig function that is represented in this triangle. All right, so what I want you to do now is to, um, if you haven't already picked up um, worksheet number 94. Um, I want you to get that worksheet and what you're going to be doing on this worksheet is looking at which trig ratio um, you need to use to set up 
um, for the triangle. All right, so I am going to turn this one on over. So I have the worksheet here. So I am going to go along with this one um, for a few of them. Um, and then I'm going to have you um, work on what you think um, some of them are, and then you can just check back um, and get the answers. So the trig ratio on this one. All right, so we look at this triangle right here. So looking at this angle, this is the angle that we know. It's 25 degrees. From this angle, we know the adjacent side is 12, and we're looking for the opposite side. So once again, we want to think about what trig function relates an angle to the opposite and adjacent sides. And that would be tangent. So this means that the tangent from 25 degrees is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. So I ended up with the tangent of 25 degrees is equal to x over 12. All right, let's try number two. So this triangle. So we're going to look at what information we know. So we are looking from the perspective of this angle right here. So from this angle, we know the adjacent side is 12, and we are looking for the hypotenuse. That's our x. So what trig function relates the angle to the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. And that would be cosine. So the answer I got for number two is that the cosine of 31 degrees is the adjacent side, which is 12, over the hypotenuse, which is x. So cosine of 31 degrees is equal to 12 over x. All right, let's try number three. Number three, so we know this angle right here is 44 degrees, and we know the hypotenuse is 48, and we're looking for the opposite side. So we need to think about what trig function relates the angle measurement to the opposite and hypotenuse, and that would be the sine function. So therefore, the answer to number three should be that the sine of 44 degrees is x over 48. All right, I want to go down to number five for your next one. So number five, this time we don't know the angle measurement, so we're looking for the x. So we don't know the angle measurement, but from this angle, we know the opposite side and the adjacent side. So again, what trig function relates the angle to the opposite and adjacent sides? And that would be the tangent function. So for number five, I have that the tangent from angle x, and if you wanted to, you could put x degrees if you want to, but the tangent of angle x would equal the opposite over adjacent. And then we can reduce that. 30 over 20 is the same as 3 over 2. All right, so I'd like for you to um, end the video. This one, or actually, I'm going to end the video. And then I want you to complete this which trig ratio worksheet. So you're going, there's two sides of it. So you're going through these problems and you are writing the trig ratio that is represented by the information in the triangle. And then the last video is going to show you how to actually answer the questions using the calculator.